What's up guys? So I've been home for a little bit now, but I still got Tenley footage to show you and all that stuff, which is good because tomorrow is actually uh, our screen-free day. We're not doing any technology stuff, so I wanted to get this up here for you guys to watch. And I am going to reveal to you in this video what Triple B really stands for. I know I've clickbaited you guys with it before, and I, I will continue to clickbait you guys in the future just because it's fun. And I try to make it in a way that it's not actually clickbait, and it's just, I don't know. I, <laughs> anyway, in this video, zero clickbait, like, I'm gonna let you guys know what Triple B stands for. It's one of the most commonly asked questions since I started Triple B, so... Now you're gonna know? That's a beast right there. Eugene, you're making me look like I pissed my pants, bro. <laughs> That's a monster, monster dinosaur. I'm just glad that nothing popped in my back when I did that. I don't feel, I don't care that he's making my pants look like piss. Ah, uh, beast. Beast me. Eugene's taking it right in the butt. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> hey, there's kids here. Sorry. Oh, I'm sleeping right now. I, you, didn't, you didn't get the in the butt thing, did you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm... <laughs> wow. Okay, buddy. Oh my gosh. That is a heavy beast right there. Hello. Ah, we got horrible lighting in Forrest Fanning's place. And we also got... Kenzie, and we got, uh, Forrest has upgraded his room a lot since we've been here last year. He's also got a kid. We're gonna finally meet the kid. I don't know if you remember last year we introduced the baby bump on Desiree, and now they actually have a little baby boy who was born on my boy's birthday, was born on Noah's birthday, was born on Leia's birthday. They all have the same birthday. Forrest baby, my baby, my oldest boy, all share the same birthday. So we're gonna meet him. We're gonna check out some of Forest new cool animal setups and well here's the setups and we got lots of people hanging out so it's gonna be an interesting video so check these out these are some awesome animals that <laughs> these are green tree monitors I don't know where Forrest is he needs to help me with this stuff I don't know things there I said green tree monitors all right sweet oh they're not that what are they Kenzie Kenzie's gonna give us a tour. I have been informed that they're called uh, tricolor tree monitors. Oh, that's And if right. that is wrong, it's not my fault. The forest once told me the uh, scientific name for these bad boys, and it's just not coming into my brain right now. But I do think they're one of my favorite animals here for sure. Um, man, what is the name of these? I can't think of it. We need forest. Forest, where are you? What the hell you do with all this water? So I'm just gonna rudely come in here and okay. steal Steven Kush from you. Oh, Bye! Thanks, bro. <laughs> where, where are we going? We need you to show us your favorite animal here, because I, I have too hard of a time picking out my favorite your animal favorite here. animal in this room. That's, that's a really tough uh, tough thing to tell you, because there's... Yeah, well that's that's my problem, it's a tough thing to tell you. Okay, how about one of my favorites? That my... is a gorgeous scrub python, my yeah, friend. This is my uh, biggest Moluccan scrub python. She's about two and a half years old now, and actually, uh, great timing, just shed yesterday, so looking uh, very good for the barbecue today. We're throwing the snake on the barbecue? No, 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 gosh, are you kidding me? I phrased that oddly, so, um, I, no, we're not barbecuing the snake. Uh, just this gold coloration, I just can't get over it. Every time I look at the snake, literally my jaw just drops, and then the purple on the tail, the contrast with the, uh, the goldish yellow, I don't know. In my opinion, there, there really isn't a naturally occurring coloration in snakes that's better than this. Um, probably debate that with a few different uh, species, like you know maybe Amazon Basin emerald tree boas, or you know a few venomous species or whatnot. But I, I'd, I'd still uh, hold up the argument that a real high quality, top of the line Moluccan scrub python might be one of the best looking naturally occurring snakes in the world. To be fair, Stephen Cush. Also one of the most beautiful, naturally occurring animals in the wild. You're too kind. 
Forrest told me that you could have anything you want here as long as he doesn't see you take it. Mm, I don't know. I mean, I've kept almost everything that's been in here, or have. So, there's not really much besides Baby the Baby Croc. But, well, and the Moluccan Scrub, you, that's pretty great. What was, the, what was yours? The Baby Croc? Yeah, Baby Croc or the Moluccan Scrubs. You want to take it out so it bites you? I don't think this one is the one that bites. It's pretty damn impressive, right? That is impressive. That's so impressive that uh, I want to hold it. I've had them, but I've never had them this small. I've never gotten to hold a baby croc. Like, I'm super jealous right now. Can I hold a baby croc? Yeah. I'm not. I'm not a lizard guy. Well, you should be because you're missing out. Should I, I'm trying to remain calm because I, this is very this is very exciting for me right now. Mm. Holding the baby croc monitor. Ah, dude, you guys get to do this all the time. Yeah, it's it's one of those things Does that you kind of take for granted a little bit that I. You can interact with animals like this on a daily basis. That is crazy. Yeah. I can't imagine if I got to hold a little baby croc monitor like this every day. Yeah, that's amazing. Now I, I feel like I've got a new life goal. I want to be able to hold one of these things out. This is amazing, dude. You just hear so much about like the potential for them to you know cause you damage and just be able to hold one. And now he's now he wants to be your friend. That was I got this. That was an awesome you moment, dude. Grab it before dude. it gets away. Where you at, bud? The thing that's great about this one is it's just super tolerant with any sort of uh, manipulation of it. That's the thing with uh, croc monitors, or monitors in general, but specifically these is that they're just super sensitive to anything that upsets them. Um, but with this one, you can really do almost anything you want and it's not gonna really care, um, which is just an anomaly, really. <laughs> Before we have an accident, I'm gonna quit. <laughs> so, Brian, <laughs> what, what's your favorite animal here? This one right here. Do <laughs> you, you think you're gonna hold that animal today? I, I really want. I'm gonna try again. Okay. <laughs> Be careful, man. No, no, I'm, I'm fine. You're a good boy. Huh? Yeah. Good boy. You're a good boy, huh? Yeah. You're a good boy. Sure. Good job. Good job, buddy. Nice work, Brian. Well, thank you, bud. Look at those teeth, huh? It's all right, bud. Good job, buddy. Got to give the credit to the to the alligator. Is this crocodile or alligator? Looks like a caiman. Dwarf uh -huh. caiman, maybe? Yeah, okay. I, I couldn't You're say okay, Forrest is the guy that knows everything. You're okay. I'm just here to look at everything and yeah, Google. Sure. You're okay, buddy. Look at those eyes, huh? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is now one of my new favorite animals here. It's not, he doesn't <laughs> live here, Forrest, but... I tried to, but he kicks me out every time I come over. If you guys don't recognize this guy, this is the man that's been doing a lot of Brian's video, well, all of Brian's video that's true. editing and work now. Jay, that's and me. he's, uh, I, I get a pretty good read on people pretty quickly. That's a solid dude right here. Oh, thanks, man. I um, appreciate it. If you didn't realize this, though, he, he had never actually filmed or edited video until he started doing Brian's stuff, and that stuff is coming. It looks good. Thank you, man. Like yeah, yeah. I literally, I, I've done photos and done camera work and stuff, but I've never ever really done video. I mean, I grew up skateboarding, so like, you know, we did little home skate videos and stuff like that. But it was very basic, like movie maker stuff and. Um, I bought Premiere when he told me he wanted to maybe hook up and do something. I just started filming anything I could and um, it came together quick. So I knew what to do with the camera, but filming's a whole nother beast, so I'm still working on it, you know? Yeah, man. Well, I'll put a link down in the description of your work. Not that probably most of these people see it already, but I'll, I'll still put it down. <laughs> Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Yeah, man. For real. Yeah, it's a lot nicer in here. This yeah. is Forest Cloud Forest. Forest's Cloud Forest. Yeah. Like, he's all of his abronia up in this room and other lizards, but. His abronia stuff is uh, all of his abronia, which are you know Mexican alligator lizards and of the sort. He would be able to tell you a lot more than I can, of course. But pretty impressive little room here. Forrest, is this your favorite animal here? I don't, I don't think I could ever pick a favorite animal. If I did, it would probably be Kilo, my crocodile monitor, but this was a huge deal for me. So you were at um, Herpeton 
and you remember remember meeting uh, somebody I would consider, you know, an idol, one of the best private. Uh, cut that out. You know, one of the one of the most. Uh, you you do the same thing as Brian, right? You just keep talking. I just leave all the cuts in. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, so you're uncut. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, so. Uh, this, <laughs> um, Gotcha. All right, so you remember being at Herpeton and, and getting to meet Quetzal. Yeah. And uh, Quetzal awesome. has, yeah, I mean, that's a guy I look up to like a god. I mean, he is a god in Herpeticulture. You know, this is a guy from All the Bronx. Costa Rica stuff. And yeah, did, yeah, came from the Bronx, did it on his own, made this incredible outdoor breeding facility down in Costa Rica. You know, so just getting to meet him was incredible. And then part of his presentation was about uh, his captive breeding of one of, you know, the rare lizards in captivity. Uh, these have only come into the country a few times, usually illegal, and uh, I was able to secure two babies that were produced by Quetzal with 3177 paperwork and all that stuff. So it was it, it was a big deal. So um, are you gonna yeah. you gonna bust them out of there to check them out? Or I, you, I'm not know? gonna do that um, okay. because they're just so nervous and I don't want to stress them out. I don't think you mentioned what they were. Okay, so these are um, crocodile tegus. They're from the Tiad family, Tiade. And uh, they're semi-aquatic. A lot of people compare them to like Cayman lizards. Uh, however, uh, after am a lot of people say that like they eat snails and all those same things that uh, cam Cayman lizards do. But I did I did my research and uh, you know they studied the stomach contents of them all across their range and uh, they they more eat just uh, like um, you know just different uh, like water beetles and stuff like that. So, so insect just, insectivores yeah, just, mostly. Just normal insectivores. Um, so yeah, but they, they do spend a lot of time in their water and yeah, they're just, they're incredible animals. Something I didn't expect to, uh, to, to see. <laughs> what are we doing? We're doing this again. What are we doing? This moment. Joke out. Your yellow <laughs> this <laughs> man. I did that to Barchuk <laughs> once. We, we did it at Tindley in the hallway. <laughs> like this man, <laughs> this man puts so on the all animal, animal expo. expo. Like in Wheaton. Like Wheaton, like Illinois, for now. For now. And, uh, yeah, yeah, long story. If you live, yeah, in, if you live in the Illinois Shannon's area and you haven't been to this man's show, or even if you live outside the area, I still haven't made it because I'm, I'm a loser. I'm a loser. No, it's not that I'm a lazy, it's that I'm a loser. It's a big difference. Okay. I, I would have taken the... But eventually, yeah. oops, sorry. Eventually, eventually... I'm in the way as usual. One of these days I'm going to make it to your show. Um, I'm going to work on kangaroos or something at the beginning of the year. Okay. If you, you want to make a trip out. Don't All put right. them on the ground outside in the dark. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> You guys getting closer to me. Come in close. Come in close. I need you guys. This is as close as I've ever wanted to have you guys together. Scott, thank you, bro. <laughs> hey, you need to be able to see what you're doing. Come in, come in yeah, real yeah, close though. Come in close. Yeah, yeah. I need that microphone in here. I need both these guys in here yeah. too. They're in. <laughs> so I've teased you guys a lot about what triple B means and made all kinds of jokes and led you guys on to false false hopes of what triple B means. But the, the truth is that these two gentlemen right here are the two guys that really got me inspired to start a YouTube channel in the first place. And he happens to be named Brian. He happens to be named Brian. They both encouraged me a lot. And Triple B actually does stand for Brian, Brian, Brian. Aww. Deep down in my heart, that's Aww. what it stands for. <laughs> I've wanted to have the two of you guys oh, yeah. with me in well, the same place for this years. Too, right? Oh my God. No, that, I mean, it is a, a dude, you know, you guys, you guys both mean the world to me. Brian, we've been on some adventures. I just spoke about an adventure uh, when we went to Le Bon Bajou. It was probably my favorite memory in my entire life. Uh, that was a so, pretty crazy uh, so, one. So uh, being with you guys is amazing. It's an honor. No, it's an honor for me too, you guys, both yes, of sir. you. Brian? That's all kiss. Yes. Talk. Brian? Talk. <laughs> <laughs> we can kiss his cheek. Huh? Yeah, 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 cool. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, did you want that? <laughs> I hope I wasn't laughing. <laughs> Thank you. Forgot? It's the, the, the Brian and Brian show. I can do it with you two instead of me. Oh, no. But Kim's. Kim's gonna tell the joke. Kim's got the joke oh, though. Good, oh, yeah. I am always horrible at this, but I'm gonna try. Go let's for go, it. Let's go. Be no, strong. No. Be strong. No, no, you're gonna help. Come me. on, okay. in. Yeah, okay. that's the joke. Come on, Kim. Okay. You have to ask Brian the joke. Okay. 
What did Cinderella say when she got to the ball? Let's see. Uh, I love pearls. Is that what you said? That's what she said? No, I don't know. I don't, I'm terrible about these things. What did she say? What did Cinderella? I, Tell me something about Cinderella. I know the like, answer, I know but she I can't. Had a, uh... She had a pumpkin. She had a right. What, what was this? I don't oh, even the know slipper. Cinderella. The slipper. Yeah, remember at 12 o'clock, you know, she had and to go so back to the... so, what was the question again? What, what did Cinderella say when she got to the ball? She got to the ball. Come on, Brian, <laughs> help me out here! I'm sorry, buddy. Gosh. It's all Brian, on you, listen, buddy. every time he does this to me, it makes me look... It, people really realize how but stupid they, I am. But, but, but we love it, see? I know, okay, let's do this. Let's do it. You okay. tell me what it is. I'm sorry, but I can't. Well, it's the Brian show, though. I thought we're Brian's. <laughs> we're bro Brian. Yeah, I know, but there's, okay, so there's only so far that that will go, and this this is the limit. Okay, I don't know. Where's my slipper? I don't know. Tell me. Get it? Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right. right, guys. I know it's kind of a, like a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am type of video, just real quick, but we're, everybody's hanging out here. We're having a good time barbecuing. I'm about to drive this lawnmower sit on top, drive across the yard lawnmower. I've never gotten to drive one of these things before and I've always wanted to drive one. So I'm gonna wait till the, the group clears out a little bit and then I'm gonna take this lawnmower for a spin and basically have the time of my life. Um, still looks like I peed my pants, so uh, I think we're doing all, I think we're doing all right. Horace? It's a 62 inch, uh, I don't know how many horsepower would you say. We got a 27 horse, uh, 62 inch, it's American made. It's a uh, Spartan, and uh, this, is, this is serious, man. Like, um, but yeah, if you wanna take it for a spin, yeah, be careful. This ain't, I mean, this ain't like a little California one. You know, is... Lost all respect I had for you, in which case, I don't really care, because if that's all it takes. But uh, I viewed, I liked, want it. commented, and hit the notification bell. <laughs> <laughs> uh.